Hello, this is the Biblical Worldview Daily Podcast. If you want to um, contact with us, make um, a contact and have us read on the show, whether it be about our website or about the news, please put it in our um, YouTube comment page or Vimeo page or under um, our post on Facebook, Twitter, or Google Plus for this video. I thought I might as well just bring that up. Also, we may not end up doing a separate news site and business site. We might as well might just do it here after we made our new sign um, for homepage. We're still, I'm still working on um, new design for some of the other pages, but right now all we have done is um, our homepage. As you can see, we have five columns of new stuff. We have BWD news stories, politics, video, sports, news on other websites. So, yeah, we've got all of that stuff here to give you maximum news. Also, once the school year starts, which is August 11th for me, um, I will be back full-time on this new site, so that means that you'll be getting news all day. <coughs> You're not right now because I can only do it up till 10 a.m. in the morning. So, you know, when school starts back up, I'll be back full-time. Let's also look at some of this news that we put up yesterday. Yesterday, we found out that the flight M370 was on autopilot. Researchers are now saying that the missing M370 jet was on autopilot when it crashed into the Indian Ocean. This, they came to this conclusion due to the straight path they believe the jet took. Australian Transport Safety Bureau Chief Martin Dolan said this, Certainly for its path across the o Indian Ocean, we are confident that the aircraft was operating on autopilot until it ran out of fuel. We don't know why the autopilot took the jet so far off course. For destination was Beijing, but the jet is believed to crash into the Indian Ocean. Also, EPA is having a little problem. Somebody, um... According to reports, the EPA had to warn employees to stop pooping in the hallways at work. This problem is taking place in the Denver offices of the EPA. According to the reports, the bathrooms have also been vandalized, and somebody is reportedly placing feces in the hallway. So we called in a workplace violent expert to try to help solve the problems. <coughs> Also, Mariam Ibram was released for the millionth time from her jail in Sudan, but she is now allowed to leave the country, according to the reports. Also, there's a mass exodus in northwestern Pakistan. Approximately 4,500 4, Afghan refugees in Wazirstans, a tribe in northwestern Pakistan, are evacuating north. Lazaristan tribal area to escape the campaign by Pakistan's military to wipe out the remaining Taliban forces still resisting the government. Also, Obama is tired of waiting. White House Press Secretary Josh Ernest was interviewed by MSNBC's Chuck Todd today, and this is okay. Actually, it was yesterday, but um, but that's that was today when we put out the article, and this is what he said. We're not going to just sit around and wait for interminably for Congress. We've been waiting a year already. The president has tasked the Secretary of Homeland Security, Jed Johnson, with reviewing what options are available to the president. What is at his disposal using his executive authority to try to address some of the problems that should have been created by a broken immigration system. We have the video up on our site right now. Also, um, I want, and not news related, but um, remember we do have the logo design contest. We could use some logos. Please send in before by July 26th. And quickly, um, let's see. That's basically it, it looks like. And just quickly for you, um, for, uh, if you want to get more news outside of this site, 
In addition to um, checking out our news on other sites um, column, I would recommend um, I got recommendations for TV, radio, and online news. So contact me via email if you want to find out more or check out or my Google Plus page. If you want to find out where you should go for on other websites or radio or TV to get your news. That's all I have today. Thanks for listening.